technology server match number 22 on the way. We have robots vacuuming up those power cells off the starting line. Blue, though, is going to beat Red to the punch. And Aleem, working on that roll for the Red Alliance, does fumble two of them. That's going to momentarily slow down our Red Alliance. But all three of those robots are scoring in that first 15 second period, whereas Blue sent a few robots back down to the loading zone for their Blue Alliance. Red now doing the same. All three robots back in the loading zone for Red, picking up as many power cells as they can. You do see that just like a real infinite recharge match, the loading zone is only populated with power cells once they have been scored by the opposing alliance into the power port. So every time red puts a power cell up into the power port, another power cell becomes available for the blue alliance through their loading zone. It does look like blue might be slowing down their scoring for just a moment as red is picking up those power cells from off the playing field floor out of their loading zone. But blue does have a comfortable lead, 188 to 125 with a minute and a half remaining in the match. Blue robots cycling back to their loading zone. Red putting up a few more power cells, making those power cells available for the opposing alliance. And both alliances pretty evenly matched in power cells. Even though red is trailing, they have scored 60 power cells, whereas the blue alliance has only scored 59. Again, the race is to 90. As soon as those robots are able to score 90 power cells, they earn an additional ranking point at the conclusion of the match. We do see a little bit of defense between red and blue over down by the red alliance sector. If red chooses to play defense in their sector, they can only be in contact with an opposing robot for five seconds. It does does look like one of those red robots, Aleem, was respawned back onto the initiation line for the Red Alliance after a collision where they were held up against a member of the Blue Alliance. 30 seconds remaining in the match, the end game now technically underway, but we again will see lots of focus on these power cells for as long as these robots possibly can, especially with the Red Alliance just 10 power cells behind. Blue has comfortably met the 90 power cell threshold for a ranking point, but Red is just two power cells away. And it looks like they will remain one power cell away. Red is going to prioritize the ranking point on the shield generator if they can, but with robots on the ground, they might not be able to pull it off. It does look like all six robots might have made it off the floor as time expires. We'll get that score breakdown to check in just a moment. And on both sides of the field, we did have a 55 point end game. So we fell short of that ranking point for both alliances. The blue alliance did walk away with the victory 363 to 317 and scoring 98 power cells. So that is three ranking points for the blue alliance and none for our red alliance falling just one power cell shy and 10 end game points shy of those bonus ranking points. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.